presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just sent, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 428, NASDAQ is off 449, SP is off 93, gold contract down $3.30 at 1807 an ounce. We have silver down 31 cents, $22.39 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 97, trading $90.23 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note right now trading down 14 ticks, 127.22. The 30 year off a full point at 155 flat, and King Dollar. King dollar is down 564 ticks, trading 95,372. Euro is at 114. Yen is at 114.90. And the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look. And what do you have? Well, we got quite a day out here. That's for sure. Now, what's so intriguing, big time, though, is that you have price destruction, but you don't have volume behind the move. So people are nervous. There's no two ways about that. But when you take a look at this, uh, what, what you're going to see here, well, here, well, let me show you something else, too, first. This is pretty cool. When I was looking at this this morning, okay? So what we did, folks, is that, you know, we went to a just about an exact 0.382, I mean, a 0.618 off the bottom. Now, the way this works, okay, so Fibonacci contraction expansion theory. When you go to a 0.618, off the bottom, that's a strong bounce. And when you do a 0.618, what that also says is that you're not gonna go bust the bottom on the first leg back down. When I put that together with the, the amount of light volume out here today, it's like, okay, we get jobs numbers tomorrow, we know jobs numbers are gonna be no, no good. Maybe they bring it down to uh, 442 or 447. You get light volume, that's it. That's saying we're not done on the way up yet either. Pretty wild, man. I mean, and the NASDAQ goes right along with it. If we take a look at the NDX 100, what you're going to see, destruction, no doubt. Uh, bottom line, you know, we closed last night at, at the three Qs with 368. You're trading right now down at uh, 355. And the, the three Qs will have more volume, okay? But this is what you have. As you're coming down, you're coming down into the highs of the lows that we had traded for five days. And it's going to be really tough to get through that, those whole levels. The first level is at three, 353 to 352. Um, you know, we'll see how the baby shakes out, but that's how that's laid out right now. Gold. We look at the gold contract. You heard what I said when we were, if you were there when we were doing the update. This one was really intriguing. Um, it, it always blows my mind what they can do inside of the gold market. And the thing that's amazing today though, this is what was so amazing about it, is that, so let's take a look at it. So right now gold is down $3.70, okay? When you look at this intraday, look at, look at this int intraday, at a, let's see, what time is it? What's that, nine o'clock? No, 11 o'clock, what's it? At 9.50, at 9.50, okay, the, bo the bottom line is that they, they took the um, the gold contract down big, right? And the amazing part about it is 
is that as that was going down, the Bank of England, the Bank of Europe, the, the Bank of England was raising rates, <laughs> and the dollar was tanking beyond belief. So I was like, okay, man. Needless to say, folks, okay, it took all of uh, a few minutes down at the bottom, and it takes off like a rocket ship from 1788 all the way up to this 1806. So more than likely, what this was all about is that that was just a shakeout, get as many people, this is in the futures market now, okay, that, that thing is brutal. This actually traded like silver today. Uh, bottom line, check it out. They probably had all the bids down underneath. Uh, you can see the, the first leg down took you to... Uh, 1789, you know, so there's probably bids down there, shake it out, they wanted it cheaper, brought it all the way back topside. We go to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar, what you're gonna see inside the dollar is you're getting real follow through downtown. You know, we were talking about the false break topside, bottom line, um, in four days, which is pretty amazing actually, uh, you're almost down to the lowest swing point, which is the uh, 96,629. You know, the, the dollar today is, we're down 563 ticks, but from the tops to the lows, <coughs> excuse me, folks, we are uh, down over 700, 800 ticks. This dollar might take here, we want to go down to 89. That's where this wants to go. If we go over to the euro, we take a look at the euro. What you're going to see is just the opposite. Euro goes topside in a big way. Bottom line, the euro is up 129 ticks. We're at uh, 114. And this will start making its way into the 115. Once you get into 115, next move up there is 119. We go take a look at the British pound. British pound out here. This is up 15 ticks. Not as much as the euro, but bottom line is, the, you know, it's up. Um, that is looking for the top of its range, which is 137 up to the 139. Yen. Let's go look at the yen. Now, the yen went the, the, yen went the opposite way, meaning the yen got stronger. Uh, we're at 45 ticks inside the yen, and we'll see how that shakes out. The yen didn't break down, that's for sure. You know, so we'll see how that yen is doing. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities, and we get a lot of them. So it's going to be really interesting here. Big deal out here, Facebook, Meta Platforms. That's down 86 bucks. You get Snap off $7. You have uh, Apple off a buck 46. PayPal's down $8.20. You get NVIDIA down Eight seventy. Qualcomm's down five fifty. Um, Roblox is down four eighty. You get Block down thirteen. You get Uber Technologies off uh, two. So what we what we do see out here is they they're whacking the growth stocks in a monster way. Now let's go over to Amazon because what we are going to have after the close out here, Amazon's going to come out with numbers. Uh, Amazon is going to be Amazon's down two hundred twenty eight bucks right now. Amazon is going to be looking to bring $137 billion to the top line, and they're going to be looking for $3.70 to the bottom line. The difference with Amazon, this is really, so, so watch, they've already told folks that, hey, listen, man, we're going to make a lot less money, and it took in a, high, a much higher gross. So we'll see how this market uh, reacts when Amazon comes out. And what Amazon does, Amazon comes out with their numbers split seconds after the 4 o'clock time frame. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So let's go take a look at that oil market out here because uh, <laughs> there's no doubt uh, this baby just, let's see, I don't want the generic one. I want the active contract. Here we go. Okay, so we hit today $90.37. You've done 429,000 contracts. That's big contract volume. Yeah, you're still going high, man. This thing is trending like beyond belief. I mean, it's been a one-way shot. I mean, you take a look at this and... Uh, what is this? December 2nd, we're at 62 bucks. We are at 90. Um, and when you do go look at that swing point, folks, the, bo the bottom line, this will put the continuous contract together. What you're going to see out here. There we go. What you're going to see out here when we put this up, I'll put this on, I got to put it on a monthly. Uh, but you're going to see that, you know, it broke the consolidation that it had been in. Bottom line, the next swing up here is, you know, there's a lot of flack up here, but it's 107, 112. That's a 17, even 114. That's where this baby, once you, once you lift it off this uh, $76, it's like, okay, man, you're not going to stop in the middle of the staircase. That's kind of how this baby shakes out. Let's go take a look at uh, Square. So Square, which is called Block now, this little baby um, is on the verge of doing an ABC down. This is pretty intense, man. Uh, I don't think you're going to get the volume today. You have to get seven million into the close. But if you ever did, this would be one monster one down. Let me see on a weekly. So no, on a weekly, this has been a one way down too. It, it, what's going to get int interesting here? So, so I want to go back to the NDX for a second. So when you actually start going through a lot of the NDX stocks, folks, okay? What you have is this. They're getting fast price destruction going today, but it doesn't have volume on the way down. When I look at a lot of the equities that are already inside the NDX, you, you get your mind blown as to how many of them are already down over basically 60%. So this is going to get really intriguing. Number one, as to, you know, where we're at in the marketplace, meaning... Is this going to be just a bounce and wants another leg down? Because we're still pretty far away from the leg that we did and that swing low. You know, if we take a look at this, you're going to see the swing low is 334. And so, well, we're 22 points away from it. That's not, well, that's not that far, actually, because we're down 11 and a half right now. But as I said, when we were down there, this test is way too fast. That's the bottom line. You know, there's only so many sellers. And, you know, the hard thing to comprehend in a way 
is that, okay, well, how are you down so far if there's only so many sellers? So what does happen, folks, is this, is that once the market can get going south, which they got it going today, right? Because what you had is, of course, Facebook was opening down $75. What ends up happening is that what you have then is that you don't have any buyers and the spreads are getting bigger and there's no bids out there. That's kind of, I, I suspect, what we had happening out here. What's going to be really intriguing now tomorrow is this, is the aspect of we have the jobs number. We know a jobs number is going to be bad because you get uh, Omicron all over the place in January, closing places, well, not closing places down, but people not being able to go to work. That being said, the real question is going to be is that do you go into a low tomorrow? Do you go into the high of the low, you reject it, and then we go back to upside again. It's going to get so intriguing, man, just watching this whole thing play out. Um, you know, Netflix, NFLX, let's go take a look at some of these high flyers. You take a look at Netflix out here. What you have, you down. See, this is a classic, man. This is, the, the more I keep looking at this, this to me, okay, um, is not going to be, uh, first off, I, I don't see us getting to those lows. Not Netflix, I'm talking the broad market. And, in fact, we're still going to get bounces higher. Because Net Netflix is a classic. Look at this. So Netflix down 20 bucks. You know, what Netflix had on Tuesday is that you got a little bit higher with volume. What you have out here today is you're back 20 bucks, 7.4 million. Well, 7.4 is going to 20. You know, big number, man. You know, it's not, I just don't see it. Um, whoa. What you do have, let's go take a look at poor Kathy Wood is getting smoked. Um, and it's got to be brutal. You know, her fund, folks, what happens is that every day you know what she has done because that's how the fund works, okay? And unfortunately, what she did, and this is what's really wild, man. What she did, okay, so here, watch this. This was yesterday, and this is like brutal. So Kathy Wood dumped more PayPal shares yesterday. And then when she dumped them, though, you know, well, she sold 158,000 shares of PayPal yesterday. As she was doing that, she, was t she bought a half million shares of Square. <laughs> so it's like, oh, man, you got to be kidding me. And, of course, Square today is down $11.90. It's really, it's, this thing is like trying to do an ABC down. We, if we bring this back and put this on a monthly, you know, Square wants to run down to $84. You're at 104 right now. So this is going to be uh, a real problem for that fund. You know, I mean, there's, and to get back to my point about the aspect of actually how many equities inside the NDX 100 have already come down 60, 70%. Let's get a Mike in Hampton, New Hampshire. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hi, Tom. You know, I'm, I'm really concerned, or I'm really questioning DocuSign. I, I'm not in it yet, but I'm looking to get in. And it's been 110 up to 127 in the last five days, and now it's back down to 115. Okay, so, so I'm that, really not sure what, what to think of it. Let's take a look. So DocuSign, the low for the year is 108. The high is 314. The uh, PE is 54. Okay, so let's put this on a weekly. Okay, so you have... Yeah, I wouldn't be touching this. Um, so let me just show you something. And you can see this. When you come down like this, you know, this, this stock's off the high of three, 314, right? You see, yeah. how, like, you see where we are right now, like if you're watching Tiger TV... You know, I am. yeah, so what happens, and this is where, you know, you're not at any type of floor. And, and, and the way I always look at a market, folks, okay, I, I look at it like three deckers, just because I grew up in South Boston and there's three deckers all over the place. But you yeah. could do, do that anyway. I know, but it's, it, it, it's yeah. what, what happens is this. So picture this. Let's just say we get a three decker, right? And you're walking down the stairs, right? And how many times do you walk down the stair and then before you hit a landing, turn around and go back up? You know, and you can see the landing on this is down at 88 bucks. 
You know? So I kind of just uh -huh. wait till that gets to that level, man, because there's, there's nothing hanging this here. If you get a bounce, it's going to be strictly a bounce. This actually looks like it's setting up an ABC structure down. If it is, it's 159. Oh, man, it's at 50.8 to B. That gives you a $75 stock, which you can go to. Yeah. The last low out here is 64 bucks. So yeah. th that's really saying that, you know, it hasn't broken the B yet, but you can see, you know, that leg down. So, And they have a lot of competition, man. I mean, I, I, yeah. I sign documents, you know, electronically quite a bit. Um, and you can see attorneys are always sending over a lot of other things besides DocuCom. Do you know what I'm saying? DocuSign. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cooking, brother. Okay. Great. Hey, you can stay well, there if you get another question. Just stay right there. I'll be right back. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. But having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's off 5400, NASDAQ's off 445, S&Ps are off 89. Let's go to our man Tom in Pittsburgh. Tom, what's going on, brother? Uh, we're getting a night storm here. So you're yeah. lucky to be in Florida. You are, huh? I know it was raining up there, yeah. So it's that cold. Yeah, interesting. Well, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's in the low 30s, but it's uh, supposed to get colder tonight, and the rain's going to turn to ice. I mean, you know the deal. You lived up north. No, I, I, and I definitely know it today because my daughter's been here, and I, she just left, and she's going to the airport to fly back to Boston. And I was looking at it. So it, it, it's good that I don't believe it's going to be hitting Boston until later tonight. You know, yeah. so she'll, she'll get out of here. Of course, it's gorgeous here today, but... Yeah, well, yeah I, I lived. I lived in Florida for many years, and this is the time of year I miss Florida. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt, man. There's no doubt. 
So well, what are we going to look at today? talking about Kathy Wood, so how about shorting Kathy Wood? Uh, I get the S R S A R K. What's your opinion on it? Okay, so check this out, folks. This is pretty cool. Now, a trader actually opened another ETF, and this ETF specifically just shots Kathy Wood's ARK Innovation ETF. Okay, so watch this. This is crazy. Not crazy. This is where it is. But when we take a look at this, you're going to see the 52-week low. Uh, but this is a brand new one. It's 29. The high is 53. And what you're going to see here... Well, one second, there we go. This way. When we put this up, the bottom line is that, you know, it, this has been a one-way trip in the last six months, 31, all the way up to 53. And, yeah, the thing wants to go back to 53. What I would do is this. I would wait for, like, a, some kind of super bounce, um, you know, before you did that. Because you can see already... I mean, that has exploded topside, and you know, her fund has gone one way, and that meaning the one way and the way down. Okay, you know, we've just yeah. in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, in November, December. Yeah, in ninety days, we've gone from one hundred and twenty-four dollars, and we hit sixty-four dollars like four days ago. So I think it's going to be a good idea. Okay, but I wouldn't be shot in it right now. Uh, and the reason I think well, it's a good idea... I'm sorry, what? Um, what'd you say, Tom? Okay, so uh, for uh, S-A-R-K, you wouldn't be buying it right now. I would not. Because okay. when you're buying S-A-R-K... You're shorting Kathy Woods. So. Immediately, that's correct. Yeah. You know? Okay. And, yeah, is there going to be more destruction? Yes, there is, but... You know, when you shot something, you really want to shot something when you get a nice bounce going upside so that at least you, you know, you, shots after something's been broken down so dramatically, which this is, uh, will get a bounce and she'll get a bounce. Uh, the the problem, there's a couple different problems with, I see, I'd say with her fund in general, okay? Um, and the biggest one is that I'm sure most of you folks know because you've been around a long time, is... You know, she had all the high flyers, and all the high flyers, no doubt, are great when they're great. But when they're gone, meaning, and they're blown up, some of them will not come back. That's, that's how a high flyer works. I mean, it won't come back. Mm -hmm. Let me just show you. So want to see something crazy, folks? Watch this. Look at the, okay, so this morning, I was on TD Ameritrade, and I always got to pick out three stocks. I'm on for a half hour and all that. Well, I'll just show you what even money managers are going to do. You get Nucor, right? Nucor. Is up 41 cents. I, I went for commodity stocks out here today on the TD Ameritrade network. Well, Nucor, so check this out. This is what's really crazy. Nucor wants a higher price. That only is a 6.5 PE, right? That's amazing. You get uh, Mosaic. I picked Mosaic out. That has, I believe, an 8.5 PE. And let me see. Is it 8.5? That's 8.5. And... Half. and what was the last one I picked out? Oh, Bungie, BG. I did a whole commodity deal. So it, it, there's going to be plenty of money managers also that are going to be out of a lot of those equities. They won't get back in them. And, you know, they were at valuations anyway that, you know, what nosebleed valuations that make zero sense, you know. I mean, just the thing that's intriguing, like Square, Square still has a P.E. of 60. You know, so this thing can go a lot lower, man. Um, you know, and there's a lot of stocks in there that, that are like that. But that being said, you know, I, I would still wait a bit, you know. Either that or, or if you, the, the other side of it, you could, you could put a, a, a tight stop on it. I mean, it's, it's, got, it's really a neat way of doing it. There's no doubt about that. Because what, what Tom's saying, folks, is that this Tuttle, I think it's Tuttle, right? The Tuttle? Yeah, Tuttle, K, Tuttle Capital Shot. Innovation ETF. Um, you know, because it's an ETF, you know, you, you could put a just a a stop like underneath the gap from this morning. Forty five uh eighty three. You could you could go that way, you know. 
and that way there wouldn't be too much destruction. I just happen to like selling bounces that get pretty high in general. Mm -hmm. okay. But you're on the right trail, man. That's the bottom line. Okay, I'll keep an eye on I'll watch for a bounce on Clark. Now, one last thing. Now, let's talk about something really important. Pizza. Ah, pizza. Good. Hey, I work with a woman up in Stoke, and uh, she's all Irish. But yeah. Her nickname's Lisa Pizza. She says that uh, Pleasant Cafe Pizza is the best pizza in Boston. No. You got... No, the... the it's a shame I haven't been to Pleasant, but the two best pizza places I know: Regina and Santapio. Regina is on Th Thatcher Street. Santapio, you take the exit right for the tunnel. Um, I forget which. Yeah, in Santapio, they, they're both amazing pizzas. Um, I just haven't been to the Pleasant Cafe, but if you go into Boston, you know, I would suggest you go to either one of those places. If you go to Regina's. The way you do it is that, and this is really cool, folks, in, in general, okay, is the, there's always going to be a line outside. But what you should do, look through the window. There's a bar there, right? And there's always seats there. So you just walk up to the line and say, hey, man, can I sit at the bar? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can sit at the bar. And people just don't do it. You know what I mean? So if you're by yourself with one person, sometimes it works out very well. And mm -hmm. Santapio's... What Santapio said, they're, they're two totally different pizzas, too. It just happens to be that they're both really great, man. No, she, yeah, she, she likes Regina's. Yeah. But she just said Pleasant, uh, Pleasant uh, Cafe Pizza is the best. I wonder where that but is. I, I'll, I'll have to find out. Know. Yeah, uh, get the goop. That's right, Steve <laughs> Rhodes. I love it. And, and, it's, and, and thank you, Steve. And in, uh, at, at Regina's, make sure you order the goop. And when you order the goop, this is what they'll, they'll know that you have probably been around there for 20 or 30 years because they don't tell anyone that they have this goop that they make. And, and what it is, it's pretty cool. It's, a, it's garlic. It's um, uh, oil, chili oil that's, that's mixed together. It's absolutely awesome, man. All right, I heard the music. Well, thanks, Tom. Okay, man. Thanks for calling. Have a great one. Have a safe one. We got everyone hungry now. <laughs> Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 475. You get the Nasdaq off 497. S&Ps are off 101. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow is down 440. Nasdaq is off uh, 460. S&P is down 96. Let me show you something else here, too, because what it, what it looks like we're also going to have, folks, is that the index volume is also going to be lighter. And if that's what we get, the bottom line is that, yeah, this is a price destruction, but we're going to go higher. Um, you can see we're at 578 right now inside the NYSE. That's saying that, yeah, it might do a billion. Um, and it should. But if it ever does like 900 million, the bottom line is that we're going higher like ASAP. Uh, if we take it, and that could be the jobs number, even, even though uh, we know it's going to be a bad jobs number. If we take a look at the NASDAQ composite, the composite right now is at 3.4. The, the composite's going to do less than yesterday. The composite is not going to do uh, 1.2 billion at the close. You know, that's, that's how this baby is set up. So we'll see how it shakes out. If we go take a look at Nike for one of the Tigers out here, um, uh, bottom line, uh, I would, uh, you know, one of the Tigers got some uh, puts on it uh, as a day trade and they're up. Good money. Uh, I'd take it, man. I'd take it down in a second. Because what you have here, you can, you can see, there's, there's not enough sellers, man. You know, you, two, uh, Wednesday, what the hell, today's Thursday. Tuesday, you, you did 6.6 .6 million. You're at 3.4 right now. And you're going into 6. You're going into 9.7. I don't see it. Just don't see it. Um, FCX, Freeport Mac Moran. We take a look at Freeport Mac Moran. This baby looks like a small ABC structure up. That's what it looks like, by the way, all the gold stocks are doing. The gold stocks move lower, and they've got all small ABC structures on the way up. That's how they're, that's how they're laying out. Uh, so that's FCX. Let's see. DVN. This is Devron. This thing is flying, right? Is this Devron? Yeah. So th this is, okay, this baby here... You know, you're down 12 cents now. This this looks to me like this is going to break out. I, I, I did this. Yeah, this thing wants to break out. This thing wants to break. The next leg on this thing is something like 76. Right now you're at 53. We go to the uh, SLV. We take a look at the SLV. That's the silver ETF. That, that let's uh, watch what this one did. This one came into the last swing low. And bottom line, rejected lower price. You're going higher. We take a look at the uh, GDX. You're going to see the same type of setup inside the GDX. GDX, you know, get down to 29.94. You're at 30.27. Monster co contraction of volume. You know, bottom line is at 13 million versus you're going against 32 or 22 rather. They would they want higher price. The, there's no doubt the uh, Halliburton. Let's go take a look at Halliburton. Halliburton out right here. That one's higher price too. This is the, well, Halliburton's an ABC up. Let me see this. Oh. Yeah, it's, you got an ABC up here. Once, so 29 bucks, 22.6, let's say, say 650, that's 34 bucks. It hit 32. This is, an AB, this is a confirmed ABC up to 34. Let me just see what's up there. We'll take this, put this on a, on a put it on a, Monthly. Okay, got inside the larger range. I mean, this is this is game now. To, yeah, fifty-seven. You're at thirty-one. 
You know? So bottom line is that that can go a lot higher. In fact, I, oh, look at this. This is, a, this is actually a weekly ABC up too. One second, 25. Oh, man, it's a 20.8 A to B. That's 37. Okay, we're at 31. This, on a weekly Halliburton, ABC structure up to 37 on a weekly ABC structure on the way up. So there's some, there's some action here, man. And the real question is going to be, what does Amazon do tonight? This is where this is going to get really wild. So the, you know, Amazon had the high volume low. And unfortunately, what happened, yeah, let's bring this up, put this on, I think I can put it on a weekly. No, I don't have to put it on a monthly. So when we're talking about that 28, 2782, I think it was, 2872, that's what it was, 2872. That was, that was a low that was established in uh, September of 2020. Then what we did, yeah, see, this low has to be tested, man. It's gonna, this is going to be a tough one, man, because if, if Amazon, bottom line, you know, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't make it, and this is an ABC down, it'll be a monster one, man. And then what would be game would be 2466. That's, that's the next thing that is down at, that, at, those, at those levels, man. That's, that's the bottom line. Um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. So on a monthly, it came down. Let's see, that's 127 million. Oh, it's only 76 million. It's interesting. It's going to be a tough one, you know. Uh, and yeah, as. as Will Lord Bezos save the earth and save the market? You know, he passed this off right on time. And it looks like, you know, actually, when you, when you look at folks, all the selling that was done at the highs, right? The CEOs we talked about, it, whether it's Tesla, whether it was Bezos, you know, they were all, uh, Mike Nandela at Microsoft, they were pushing this, all that paper out like beyond belief. I mean, you know, and the bottom line is that, you know, when, when you have companies that are being run by CEOs and they push it out, you got to pay attention to it. Look at Musk. I mean, Musk, Musk is the one that really, like, my, my take on Musk, folks, okay, is he just kind of laughs at the rest of the world, you know, in a bad way. But that's, that's the reality. Um, he's, he's cute enough, um, you know, he's got little quirks and all that, but the bottom line he takes people to the cleaners, I mean, in a monster way, too. And he definitely took people to the cleaners um, and the amount of paper that he pushed out on, you know, folks that, you know, just think that, you know, stocks can only go up. Well, the bottom line is that, that we know that that is not the way it goes. But, you know, when you haven't done this for a long period of time and things have been going up for so long, guess what? You know. You get caught in the middle of it, and it's trouble, and it's trouble in paradise. The uh, Qualcomm, let's go take a look at Qualcomm. Qualcomm came out with numbers last night. Uh, the, the numbers were a little shot, uh, except for the phones. The phones were good. Uh, and bottom line, Qualcomm get to 192 today, it's at 180. And now this, this here still wants higher price. This is, I, I love something like this. See how we... Pushed higher, you have volume, but then it gave it up in price. You've heard me say this a dozen times. When you go to a higher number, you give it up in volume. Most times you go right back topside. That's how this is shaking out. And this is actually, it's down seven and a half dollars, but it's not, it's for a day like today. If you can find any equities, folks, that's when I was doing the deal with the TD Ameritrade this morning, the bottom line, that's why I went to the commodity business. Because when you, you can really learn a lot in a market like this, because what you want to see is that, okay, what is if it's not green what is just down a little you know, stay right there folks Dow Industrials right now down 537 you get the Nasdaq off 526 S&P's off 108 we'll come right back
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free! Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's off uh, 542, NASDAQ 546, S&P's 110. I have Facebook up here, and, check, you know, there's not as, well, these poor folks that are in it, yes, there's huge destruction there. But you can see Capital uh, Credit Suisse, that's a tough one. Credit Suisse had bought uh, 296,000 shares, adding to their position uh, uh, yesterday. And let me see if we got any others that did that. I'm sure there's, there's plenty of folks, not plenty of folks, that folks did. Uh, but the bottom line is that uh, I was just looking for some larger players and where they stand. Uh, bottom line is you're gonna you're gonna close at lows. So let me see what we have here. This is gonna this tick's gonna be insane out here today for sure. So if we take a look at the tick, it at minus seventeen thirty one, and then we get into the trend. The trend, so the trend's only a dollar four, man. That's not big. That that's. That is not big. That trend should be a lot, a lot bigger than that, folks. So what we have out here today, folks, is this. We, we know that the jobs number is going to be no good. As a couple of targets says, it's probably going to be good for the marketplace. What the jobs number is going to be good for is the bottom line. They're not going to be able to go up as many times on interest rate structures as some market participants say they are. That and on top of this type of financial destruction on the way down, the bottom line is that that's going to slow things down in a big way. And there's one thing of wanting to do something, and there's a whole other thing of exactly what you can do. 
okay? And in this particular case, you can only move so much. That's how this baby is shaken out. So, um, you know, as I said a little bit earlier, you, the aspect of the, you have the huge contraction with volume. So when you have the contraction with volume, can, so my, let's go look at this quick. So, so the S&P, my take is just not an ABC structure down right now because if we go, if we happen to go after that low right now, meaning a couple days going after it, you'd load the boat on a long position, folks, okay? Because there's way too many, yeah, it just would be too quick. That's the bottom line. Always remember, folks, the bank and clear hot out the boat can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health tappers and prosperity. Have a great night, safe night. Please come back, watch Tommy tomorrow morning, check him out, 9 o'clock. Look at him, folks.